So day four it is for us now. We're back in the shop. And we've got some emails to look at. We've got some deliveries. So the customization for DJ Computer. So right click to pick it up. And we're going to head through the door. Walking through the doors is one of the hardest bits, I think, on PC Building Simulator. And we're going to refit the bench using B. And we're going to go on Case Modding. Because this guy wants it green, but not the glass. Green but not the glass. So we're going to left click, just like we would to work on the workbench. We're going to pick up the spray can. We're going to make it green. These are all very greens. So we're going to make it a kind of lightish green, I think. Or, or a, green, a greeny green, but not too dark. Um, apply spray paint. So apply to glass, we want as a no. And we want a massive nozzle size. Hopefully this won't spray on the glass. Oh, that's good. Oh, this is looking cool already. I like it already. So selecting the biggest nozzle when painting is certainly the most efficient way to do it. As long as you've got it checked not to do the glass, it will respect that. And then spin it around. We don't do the back so that we don't block all the ports. We do do the front and somehow the logo stays magically white. We're not gonna spray the ports at the top because we like them to actually still work. And then we're gonna spin it around and do the last side. Up and down. This bit is easy, easily my most favourite part of PC Simulator. Spraying these cases is so therapeutic. More therapeutic than removing thermal paste, I have to say. And we're going to have to do the top as well. Which hopefully should finish it off. Oh, you do need to do the sides on the top here, which makes sense. And that's a 100% green case, that's how to do it. So if we exit, and then we've painted the case green, let's place it back into the delivery area. To so head back. Plonk it next to this one, because we are done. 